Oh, well, hello. Hello, welcome Cheers. to the episode of the Weekly Wind Down. Good. So tonight, we are drinking oh, oh, oh. one of our favorites, Macrosti Wildcat Mountain Pinot Noir. This is really one of our favorites. We highly, mm -hmm. highly, highly recommend it. Del recommends it too. Del recommends it too, yeah, it's his favorite. So, topic for today. How to build capacity. All about capacity. So I think we should start by you telling us about the entire day of hockey you just had and the 11 games you played in. 11, yes. And some of the capacity there. Yeah, and so when it comes back to building capacity, we can take a look at today. And I played 11 hockey games, 27 minutes long each. So you end up saying... It was about five hours of actual playing time. And started at 7 a.m., finished up at 6, 6 7 30, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7 p.m. And that's not something that's normal, but I, I, I've never played that much hockey, but I was able to do it. I was able to maintain it and ultimately perform simply because I've built a capacity to handle that. I have played uh, two nights a week, three nights a week, I've worked out. I've done little things, little incremental things that push me beyond my comfort zone when I'm training so that all of a sudden when I have a big day like that, I can show up and perform. And it's no different than what we need to do at work or what we need to do in our personal and business lives is where we slowly incrementally push in different periods of time and push ourselves beyond our comfort zone, but then we allow ourselves to recover. And tonight, Elise and I have, you can't see them, but we've got two buckets of Epsom salt baths for our feet that we're we going to put, that we're gonna put really our feet good. on. It's got peppermint coming up, so it's going to stimulate that recovery system uh, through. We have the Normatech you know, recovery boots. We have the Normatech recovery boots right here that we're we going to wear. We have some wine. We have some wine. We have high protein sushi. We have high protein sushi, and we're going to go do a face steam after this as well. So we're looking, and we're going to get a good night's sleep. And so, we look after ourselves. And you also just had a recovery smoothie. And I just had a recovery smoothie, you're right. And even throughout the day, I was making sure I was getting my water intake and doing all the things necessary to really be able to push at that level. So that's what it takes to create capacity in that example. And Elise has another example. Yeah, I mean, in my life, um, you know, I'm, I'm finishing up a job that's very near and dear to me to move on to uh, a new career path that's also very near and dear to me. but. For the past year, I've basically been working two full-time jobs, um, and in particular, this past past month has certainly been um, a, a big push in terms of building capacity. You know, there was a couple weeks here or there where it felt like, um, you know, I was fully, fully immersed in two completely separate full-time jobs. Um, talk about building capacity and, and really pushing the limits there. But I think one of the the key things is the recovery aspect of it on the other side is giving yourself the time that you need. And so um, for the month of, of April, Justin and I are actually going um, away for a month to a ski house and we're just going to reset, relax, and really just be in nature. While, take, still, while still working. While still working, but taking the time that we need to, at least on my end, taking the time I need to kind of hit the reset button um, and, and move forward in that mental space that I really need. Completely. And when you do that, when you give yourself that space, when you give yourself that intermittent recovery, you're able to push so hard and you're able to grow what you're able to handle. And that's, I think, the biggest lesson here is it's not doing less. Guys, we're not asking you to work less. We're not asking you to uh, train less. We're not asking you to hold back on your dreams, whatever it is you're going for. By actually focusing on building a capacity and focusing on intermittent bouts, of hard work that overstretches you and then intermittent bouts of recovery, you're actually gonna be able to get to your dreams faster, quicker, more sustainably, and in a way that truly means something to you. So amen to that. Let's have a cheers. I'm beating you. All to capacity. All to capacity, go own it. Go own it. <laughs>